Hey, what's up guys? Today I have a review of the new Rubik's Speed Cube. I did get mine at World Championships this past summer. However, you can purchase yours directly from GAN, which I will link down below. Jumping right into stats about this puzzle, it does come with matte tiles on it, and they do take a little bit to get used to. It also comes with the GANS Octopus Core because this is a collaboration with GANS. And for that same reason, it does come with yellow GES nuts. The tiles do latch in and I believe you can take them out. However, I've yet to do that because I really have no reason to. So getting into turning, out of the box, the puzzle is a little bit sandy. However, I did lube mine with Lubical One as well as some silk and it turned out to be a nice buttery smooth feeling to it. As far as speed goes, it is kind of on the medium to slower side of puzzles, which I kind of prefer faster puzzles. However, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a bad thing. This puzzle does lock occasionally. However, I wouldn't say it's a major problem. And if I fiddled with the tensions a little bit more, I maybe could reduce that. Overall, I would say this is easily the best Rubik's brand cube that's been made. I don't necessarily think it competes with the speed cubes out there. However, I do think it should be a staple in everyone's collection. It was a very big step for Rubik's to collaborate with Gans, and the result was a pretty awesome cube. And although the tiles were a bit of a nuisance at first, I do see the logic behind putting them because the Rubik's stickers were pretty darn terrible. I know I had to re-sticker my Rubik's brand when I first got it, so the tiles will definitely help with durability. So if you'd like to purchase this cube, I will link you down below to gancube.com where you can purchase it for $18.99. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything at all, feel free to leave them down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.